So the main risk factor for advanced bowel cancer is age. So it's a cancer that develops in, uh, more commonly as we get older. Um, so um, there are, uh, what well, the average age uh, of diagnosis in Australia is around 70 years of age. So approximately half the patients diagnosed are all over 70 years of age in Australia. Um, the symptoms of bowel cancer can be many, but they're often a change of bowel habit, uh, blood in the stool, um, sometimes weight loss, a general feeling of being unwell and, and, and fatigue, and less commonly pain. So other than age being the biggest risk factor, uh, other risk factors can include a family history, um, being um, overweight, leading a, a sedentary, uh, inactive lifestyle, um, and, and uh, being diabetic, and potentially um, associated with that Western lifestyle of, of, of um, high energy, high, high, high meat intake. They're, they're all factors that are associated with an increased risk of bowel cancer. So the Monarch study is a study designed for elderly patients with advanced bowel cancer. So we're targeting patients who are over 75 years of age, uh, which as I've previously said is a very common patient population to have this uh, diagnosis. And it's uh, hitherto, or up until now, a very under-researched patient population. The majority of patients who've uh, been in, enrolled onto research studies, clinical trials of advanced bowel cancer have been much younger than that, the average age around 60 years. Um, so we know that um, the treatment options that apply to those younger patients may not apply to elderly patients. Elderly patients um, may have different priorities, uh, different tolerance to drugs, and therefore we want to uh, dedicate a study to that patient population to try and uh, increase our understanding of what truly is the, the best way to, to treat these patients. The real goal of the study is to find a treatment option for elderly patients that's well tolerated, that's convenient and that provides them with the best outcomes in terms of survival and quality of life. Patients um, need to be over the age of 75, or they can be over the age of 70 but have other medical problems. Um, they um, need to be um, suitable for, for chemotherapy, uh, light chemotherapy as we'd say, so relatively low intensity chemotherapy together with a targeted treatment. And they need to be uh, motivated and willing to come to the hospital every couple of weeks for their treatment over several months. Um, we'll be um, doing comprehensive health assessments on the patients. So when you think about care for patients on clinical trials, what it's important to remember is that the care that the patients will receive is outlined in a detailed protocol, and that's been carefully reviewed by, by peers and scientific experts and, and, and oncology experts around Australia, together with the ethics committees of the hospital. So patients can be reassured that the standard of care they're receiving is extremely high, and indeed could not be higher. And as well as that, they have direct access to a research nurse who's dedicated to that study, who can help coordinate all their appointments and their care. And so I certainly believe, um, and I think it's fair to say, that the quality of care on a research study is, is the best the patient can receive, even before you think about potential added benefits of the new treatment itself that that may have on the patient's outcome.